What's up guys, and today we got the team of the week, Adrian Peterson, 91 overall, no chemistry boost, just the base card itself. He's coming in with 89 speed, 88 acceleration, 89 agility, 88 carry, 92 truck, 90 brake tackle. Keep an eye on that 90 brake tackle, I'm going to talk a lot more with that in a minute. 92 juke, and um, also, I do want to talk about his uh, speed first before I get into the nitty gritty. He, at first, did not seem like he was going to have too many huge runs, and he didn't really have too many huge runs. So as you can see right here, these little chunks of yards, this is what you can expect most of the time. It's not impossible. He, he did have a couple of, of uh, these uh, breakaway runs, but as you can see right here, these little 10-yard uh, bursts and whatnot, he'll get you though. So as you can see, in the red zone, that's when you know he'll be the most effective as far as just the speed. Now the spin is pretty terrible. I mean, he does have... I mean, as you can see, when he tries to spin past people, he's just so slow and sluggish and whatnot. So I don't really recommend doing that too often. But as you can see right here, man, this is what I'm talking about, the uh, speed. This was like the only breakaway run that he really had. And I'm kind of surprised that nobody was actually able to uh, track him down. But um, anyways, as you're watching these clips of him spinning and juking and everything, you'll notice a little trend going on, which is going to be, I'm going to talk a lot about later on. But as you can see, man, I honestly, his juke was okay. Um, it wasn't anything spectacular, but that's because I believe his agility is so low. Maybe that's why he wasn't pulling all those animations as much as I would have liked. But um, there is one thing that he did do actually that was like, phenomenally well. And before I get to that, yes, the carry rating. He did take actually like maybe a good seven hit sticks. He did fumble once, and the fumble that he did had, um, it wasn't even a from a from a hit stick actually. It was from those 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 uh, strip animations. My least favorite animation, man. I, I would rather have these hit sticks at least, because you know, at least with, with the hit sticks, you know, I don't really see the fumbles as much as the uh, those damn strip animations that really cause the fumbles, as you can see right here, and catching as well. I didn't really have any too pro uh, have too many problems with the catching, but that one fumble was really about it. But my goodness, man, this right here, the amount of broken tackles was unbelievable, guys. I could not believe it. He, I was trying to decide is Eddie George or Adrian Peterson, in my opinion, the best, you know tackle breaking running back that I've ever used and Eddie George you know he had that title for so long but I'm not even exaggerating when I say Adrian Peterson the team of the week version the 91 overall version gave him a run for his money because my god he was breaking tackles left and right I know a lot uh, you know some of them are also just failed hit sticks but let me just say right now I've had a lot of running backs take hit sticks and a lot of them seem to fail with Adrian Peterson uh, you know I just want to make that clear. A lot of other running backs were just taking those hit sticks. Adrian Peterson seemed to just, you know, bounce off them. And I'm not lying to you guys. I actually had like maybe nine more clips of him breaking tackles like this, but the video was getting a little long, so I just wanted to, you know, keep it short and simple. But man, guys, I just could not believe, man. Look at this is ridiculous. How many tackles this guy was breaking? He refused to go down. When his price drops, you know, down to like its lowest, you know, in the market, I'm going to pick him back up. And that's going to wrap this up, guys. And right now, man, oh, God, him right here, Eddie George, Adrian Peterson, in my opinion, the top two tackle breaking backs in the game by far. It is ridiculous with those two. If you had both of them in your backfield, that would be a very scary combination, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. But um, is he worth getting right now? I mean, obviously, he just came out, let his price drop a bit, and when it you know starts to mellow out then you can go and get him i know for a fact i might pick him back up i'm thinking of making my backfield eddie george and adrian peterson that would be a ridiculous combination and of course having saquon barkley as a third down back uh, and ricky williams as you can see right there i got him too but anyways man had a lot of fun playing with peterson i can vouch for him i know he's not the best you know do it all back in the game right now but if you need someone to help you break tackles you know break tackles for you man you can't go wrong with peterson but anyways guys i'll see you boys for the next review thanks for watching peace